Are you feeling like your skin is getting duller as you age? It might lack a lot of luster that it had when you were young. Well, I'm going to give you six very easy daily habits that I do and so many women do to be able to get more glowing, radiant skin every single day so you look younger. Let's get into that video. topic is really important to so many women because we strive to look the very best we can and kind of hold the aging process at bay as much as possible. Now, as we hit a certain age, we hit menopause, it's really hard to have that kind of skin that we really had when we were in our 20s, 30s, even our early 40s. But there are so many things that you can do to really slow down the aging process to help boost your skin. And I want to share those with you today. I'm going to put a timestamp right here where you can jump ahead to the bulk of the video where I do talk about those six steps because I do talk about what I'm wearing and a few other things. So go ahead and jump to that timestamp if you're not interested in all of this. First of all, we talk about what I have on, which is an adorable cut out cold shoulder sleeve top. That's a really nice jersey knit top. I say that so many times because I love wearing knit tops. They're just super comfortable and I live in them, but I like to have them a little bit more stylish. So this has an adorable bell sleeve on it. Really nice scooped neckline, but I love the detail that it has right here. It does come down over the tummy. Just really have been enjoying it. I wear a large, it's pretty true to size. You might want to size up if you like to wear them a little bit looser. And then let's talk about these adorable four drop or four rounds in a drop of earring. This is in a silver. They come in gold, I believe, as well. Just thought that it was so very cute and I just really have been enjoying it. The necklace that I have on today, I also have shown in many videos. I love it. It's just kind of a fun chain link with two different styles of chain. It just kind of dresses up my look and I really like that about it. Also, as always, any makeup I have on or any jewelry, fingernail polish, all of that will be listed and linked below for you. When we're talking about links, I put up a number here on the screen that corresponds to whatever product I'm talking about. You don't have to remember remember anything about the product. You just have to remember that number, jot it down so that you can remember that you're interested in, then go down into this description box, open that up one through however many we get through today, the name of the product with the link and any other information will be there for you to be able to shop that way. That is our introduction. Now let's get into the six everyday easy habits that women with very radiant, glowing, younger looking skin do. All right, so you have to think about your skincare and you knew that that was gonna be a part of this, but it has to be specific different things in order for your skin to look more glowing. And the first one is, actually actually you have to exfoliate. On our skin, there is something like 15 to 18 different layers of dead skin. That's a lot of dead skin before we can get to the nice new pretty skin. So we have to think about exfoliating. Paula from Paula's Choice says, all you need is this right here. This is just a washcloth out of my bathroom that I use to wash off my makeup with. She really believes that you really don't need any more exfoliating than this in an actual physical exfoliation. Now, I do a physical exfoliation every single morning because I find if I don't, because I use so many things to turn over my skin cells, if I don't, I'm gonna get flaking or I'm gonna get super dullness with my makeup or my makeup's not gonna look smooth enough. So not only do I use Paula's Choice <laughs> for a rag, I also use this right here, which is Philosophies, the micro delivery, delivery exfoliating wash. This has very fine granules that really can polish your skin well, take any dead skin off. But you know, my favorite I'm out of right now, I'm just working through this one. It looks kind of gnarly because I've had it for such a long time. But my very favorite one is from Pixie Beauty and it is the milky peel that they have. It's not, it's kind of misleading. It's actually more of an exfoli exfoliating product. When you open it, you'll feel some sort of like texture in there. And what you will feel is is the cellulose or the plant-based cellulose that they have in there that they've put in there to 
just exfoliate the skin, which is really nice because it's not using any sort of an abrasion. It's just kind of this plant-based exfoliant. You can feel almost immediately that your skin is starting to tingle. Mine does a little bit. I can just feel the blood starting. It gets a little bit red. That's a good thing. And then about once a week, once every 10 days, I will use the Ordinary Peeling Solution. This is a pretty strong chemical exfoliant. You can only leave this on for five to 10 minutes. You will notice a little bit of tingling, a little bit of itching with this. That's what I do anyway. Get, get that on there and then about five or 10 minutes into it, I'm just like, okay, it's time to come off because my skin is kind of tingling. It's good. It's what's really turning those cells over. It's getting rid of those old dead skin cells and it's really gonna help you slough those off. So that is really good as well for exfoliating. The second thing that you can do or the second habit that you can do every day is use facial massage. And this I do actually at night and in the morning both. At night, I will use a germanium, germanium roller. Um, I'll put that up on the screen because I don't have it over here or a jade roller or a gua sha tool. And I really do a lot of facial massage. I don't, I'm not one that feels like you can't touch your face. These are muscles in our face. We have to build muscle just like we do any other part of our body in order for it to look really nice and tight. And the muscles deliver the blood that is necessary for us to get a glowing complex complexion. And that helps to really boost this circulation and again, get more blood coming here. We get that glowy complexion. So it's really nice to be able to do that sort of massage. There are so many on YouTube. Just type in facial massage and you'll see so many people that have done that. They're just so good at doing that. The other essential habit that I do every single day is I use some sort of a vitamin C product on my skin. This is so very important because vitamin C is the standard for giving you brighter skin. It just really helps a lot to be able to brighten up your complexion. Vitamin C works with vitamin A, which is our tretinoin, to boost it and make more collagen in our face. Plus it has its own benefits of brightening and antioxidants, which fights off all the free radicals, which can help, which makes our skin look older and duller anyway. So I have two. Um, this one is from the Glow Recipe. This is the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. Now I um, bought this when it was on sale and I'm actually just working through it. It's not the favorite that I've ever had. My actual favorite one just for using topically in the daytime would be from Timeless and I'll make sure that I link that down for you below. This is a good one, but I feel like the Timeless one is a little bit more effective. And then also The Ordinary has a ton of vitamin C serums too choose from. And I use this one and I use this one at night with my retinol products. And this one is Ascorbyl Tetrisopalmate Solution 20% in vitamin F. So this is actually an oil base and you can, I just put a drop or two or three in with my other skincare products. It's usually a retinol that I'm using with it and put it on my face. This is a very, very gentle vitamin C. So not only does it boost the effectiveness of vitamin A, but it also is very easy on my skin. So do not skip on your vitamin C. Okay, the next easy daily habit that I practice before I even go into it, I want to say, please talk to your doctor before you take any sort of supplements or before you change any sort of health routine that you have yourself for interactions with maybe medications or something that you take. I love taking a hair, skin, and nail supplement, and I absolutely love the Andrew Lessman Hair, Skin, and Nails. This I have been taking for years and years. I love the blend that he has in here. It has just worked so well for me. I really like that his pills are smaller. They're not as big as a lot of pills that you see on the market. They're pretty darn small. So I really do like that about it. And the delivery system or the effectability of these on my skin is not noticeable. So if I run out of these for a few weeks and I just don't have them, I notice so quickly that my skin is suffering when I don't take these. There are all kinds of hair, skin, and nail supplements on the market. Just do your research. You don't have to necessarily take this one, but I do love taking a supplement like this because I notice it in my nails. I notice it in my hair, but I mostly notice it in my skin because the health of my skin will be brighter and just look better long-term. So I've been doing this for probably six years and really notice the difference when I slack off just 
just a little okay, bit. So I was going to put in here sunscreen because it really is important to have sunscreen on your face every day. The sun's damage can really darken our complexion like no other, and it will take the glow out of our skin. Our skin will just look dull and yucky. So wear your, wear your sunscreen. I know everybody preaches that, but wear your sunscreen. My favorite is from Dermatology. I didn't want to put that in as part of the six of these, but I did want to touch on it really quickly. You all know this, just don't skip on it. The number five easy habit to get glowing radiant skin is that I use different cosmetic product products to make my skin look glowy. The number one thing you can do is you can use some sort of a product that has a little bit of radiance in it anyway. I love this one from Flower Beauty, the Celestial Priming Whip. This is just comes out like a mousse and it comes out really fast. Ooh, I didn't get it too fast that time, yay. So it really just brightens your skin. It's got a kind of a purple undertone to it and purple is known for brightening but you can tell that it doesn't look purple right there on my skin the other thing is the danessa myricks glowing serum i discovered this a while ago but boy this is just beautiful on your skin it is a serum that sinks in so quickly but it does leave just a little bit of glow on there it has just a little bit of radiance in them so those are probably probably my two favorites as of right now but you can also take an oil i take a bakucha oil and i put a drop of it in my matte foundations when you do your foundation and you put a little bit of oil in it that and it's a matte you're going to have a finish that looks so glowy and dewy afterwards just don't get carried away with it i'm talking a very small drop especially if you're oily you wouldn't want to go too far but i love bakucha oil because it is a substitute for retinol um it's very gentle but always wear your sunscreen especially if you use something like this in the daytime in your makeup you want to use your sunscreen so that's a really easy way you can also mix any of these primers into your foundation to get them to be more glowy all right the all right. number six everyday habit that i do to get glowing beautiful skin this is a specific application technique that i've been teaching on my channel for quite some time but it really does work you can see that my skin looks quite glowing today it really does have a lot of glow to it and that is because of a specific way that i apply my blush and so let me show you a lot of women shy away from highlight this is a flower beauty highlight trio that i swear is better than any high-end highlight that i have i love this you can mix all of these together if you want or you can just take one of them i just usually go across them like this with my highlighter now i'm going to spread that across this hand right here pretty thick so you can see how pretty it is with this brush look how beautiful that is but i hear you i hear a lot of women going melissa i can't wear highlighter it makes me look like i've got texture and i'm too old for that okay i got you covered i hear you i understand i know but this is what you want to do you want to put that highlighter on before your blush not after and many of you that have been with me all the time are going we know melissa you've told us this but it really is a beautiful technique so here is my blush brush this is an ombre blush from moira and it's just a beautiful blush but it's a very matte blush as you can see right there so i picked quite a bit of it up for demonstration purposes and then i'm just tapping it off but now i'm going to go over all of this right here on my hand and at first we're going to and we're going to have to build, build it up because we put quite a bit of highlighter on there but what you're going to see is that as i do that and as that covers you're going to see that your blush gets this glowy look to it so on my skin i have quite a bit of blush on here but you don't see so much of the blush you just see a glowing look I I'm going to put a little bit more of that glow on. Now see that glow just got super intense on my cheeks right there, super, super intense. Now I'm gonna pick up the blush and go right over top of it. And yes, it still looks like it's super glowing, but that blush helps tone down that highlighter. And for a mature woman, that just really is a beautiful, beautiful look. So you can see how intensely that beam is, but at the same time, it's just so pretty because it is underneath the blush instead of on top of it. All right, that's the six tips. I'd love to hear from you if there are any tips from you that you do every single day to get radiant, glowing, younger looking skin. We all want that. And it is the rage right now in makeup is to have kind of a dewy, glowing look, whereas in the 90s, 
days we were completely matte and flat not anymore we're glowing so let me know that in the comment section i'd help i'd love to hear from any of you and i hope that you're all doing very well i'm going to put up a video right here i'm going to try and do a little bit older of a video of mine that you can go ahead and take a look at just some tips and tricks and hopefully you'll be able to find some more tips for your beauty routine in that video all right take care of yourselves i love you so very much and please come back around very soon and visit me again in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.